is a treaty of friendship, as it has existed in the past, and for the future of trade and friendship between the United States and their citizens, and the Pawnee Indians. The President of the United States of America, with power to act as an authority for this no translation. <clears throat> saying you're going to take our land and rape our women. Do you understand all that? Yeah, he said you're going to take our land and rape our women like you did in the past. <laughs> Those are apparently candle-making stuff. Fascinating. Okay, I'll take 30 of those. Okay, I'll see you. Yeah, I'm, I'll head downstairs and make sure you got them. Okay. All right. So when you guys come in, watch the red tape, please. Red tape. There's uh, sticking out the floor there, so watch. Okay. Hey, you want me? Oh, yeah. Good job. May I sit here? Did you get that? No. the people that died scurvy. of scurvy. I guess they were and, just dumbasses. Yeah, and they knew about scurvy in the 1500s. They're dumb. They're just dumb. <laughs> the, the weak die. Strong survive. Oh, other people, um, we have a first wrapper, an after cabin, a living history. This little structure here is a wood fire oven. You all have maybe heard the phrase upper crust, meaning the wealthy of society, the upper crust. Okay, when you baked in a wood fired oven, you didn't build the fire underneath the floor, you built it on the floor of the oven. And you keep that going from early morning until the bricks 
charcoal and they put their loaves of bread right on that surface. So when you're gonna serve that bread, you don't feed the ashes and crumbs to the rich people. You cut that bottom crust off and you only serve the upper crust <laughs> to the people of the castle or the mansion or what have you. And the lower crust got fed to the beggar at the back door. I did not know that. Learned something new today. I heard it, but I didn't remember it because I'm of the lower crust. <laughs> You're just sour dough, <laughs> just all soft. Sour dough. Oh. Um, it, it's really neat to be here when everything's Sorry. just lit by candlelight. Um, prior to COVID, uh, the first Saturday in November would be our candlelight tour, which is a fundraiser for Big what we call place. Friends of Fort Atkinson. Very large fireplace. Sadly, the only thing I'm going to take away from this historical site is the bread and the upper crust. I did not know that's where the term upper crust came from. So everything else that happened in this fort, I'm not gonna remember, I already know that, but I'm gonna remember the bread and where the term upper crust comes from. I'm so glad that your service has never said, no, you can't go. No, I'm a new service. They wouldn't take me. Oh, really? I had, no, I had, apparently I took some sort of test and they said I have a problem following orders. Very obedient, and I wasn't. I wasn't service material. They have to break you down so low. Would he? Yeah, but I mean, if he's like not showing the picture to be obedient, they would have a come through out of the brigade. It's called 107. They would try in the first few I didn't get I didn't get that. I was unsuitable from the beginning. <laughs> he said here, fill this out. <laughs> I did do my own thing. That's right, so see. And today we are at the, I'm going to pronounce this wrong right now, Sequoia? Soya? City North KOA. We are in South Dakota. Sioux City? Maybe that's how it is. Sioux, Sioux City. Okay. We are at the Sioux City North KOA. We are currently in North South, South Dakota. We passed through Iowa today. So today we started off the trip in where were we? Nebraska. And then we went towards Ohio, went through Indiana, and now we're in South Dakota. So we must be in a tiny little corner of it that we went through so many states at the same time. Anyway, I do like this park. They are now putting me in a 50 amp site, Fantasy RV Tours. So happy about that. Actually, I'm just happy about that. I, I don't want any issues. Uh, I don't want to beat a... I don't want to beat a dead horse. However, Fantasy RV Tours knew that I have 50 amps. And so did the Wagon Masters, Connie and Steve. And for them to shove me... Or shove Wanda into a 30 amp site. 
which is fine as long as it was fair and equitable but it wasn't we were at a 30 amp site for nine consecutive days and that is not fair okay so we'll drop the subject we are here with we're site 38 right underneath some beautiful tree good partial shading water sewer 50 amps water pressure is good so far no problems with the pedestal and we're just gonna walk around I do have to order pizza and find site 57 because someone's having a pizza party so I need to go order pizza All right, so here's I'm gonna walk around. Oh, another airstream over there. Okay, trash can. It looks like this park is surrounded by residential neighborhoods, which is fine. KOA little cabins. I think they do all have restrooms inside. And they have wall air conditioning units. Dog park. Oh, the pool is open. How nice. Finally. Open pool. there's more of us it looks like this site is mostly 50 amps which is nice and here's their premier sites which is what oh I'm going to start booking from now on when I'm the one paying for it well, I'm paying for this too but that charge hmm. Okay, more of us down here. Oh, another 27 footer. International. I don't know where site 57 is. Oh, there's a number, 3727. I'd have to look them up later. Over there, there, over there, there, over there, over there. <laughs> it's a nice RV park. Got playgrounds. 65. We're right off the freeway, but you don't hear the freeway, which is nice. over here 56 57 okay
So would I stay at this park again? The answer would be yes, and it'll probably be a little bit longer. And I did find out it's Sioux City. So Sioux City, KOA, and I would stay here again. It's a nice park. And even though we're right next to the freeway, I don't hear the freeway noise. And it's a lot of heavy traffic right now, so it's very mild noise. The Airstream will, will cut the noise out. Right, on to the next camp where we are one night also, and I don't know where that is. It may be in South Dakota, it may be in North Dakota. Don't know. So, we'll see you at the next RV site. We made it to South Dakota. We are at the Oasis Campground on exit 260 in South Dakota. And would I stay in this park again? The answer would be no. I do have 50 amps, water, and sewer. However, this, is, this site is one of the filthiest I've been to. There is litter everywhere. You cannot go anywhere around this RV. You cannot go anywhere around this site. There's a glove over there. There's candy wrappers, candy wrappers candy wrappers it's absolute and there's there's just litter litter everywhere this whole site I mean how can you enjoy the site it's disgusting I'm debating whether I want to pick it up or not I'm here for one night if I was here for multiple nights this is I would have to pick up all this trash <laughs> so no even though I do have this fabulous blue view of the lake, I am backing the highway, which is going to be fine. I'm, I, I expect that. Most RV sites are backing either railroad tracks or freeways, I've noticed. And I can deal with that. However, the litter <laughs> in this site is absolutely disgusting. I'm paying top dollar for this? This is supposed to be one of the best RV places for this area? It's not. I recommend staying at another park. Do not stay here. Again, I'm just amazed with the amount of litter. This is absolutely disgusting. So, again, do not stay here. This is... This is a freaking dump. Alright, that's my recommendation of Oasis Campground here in South Dakota. It's a it's a shithole. Very disappointed in fantasy RV tours. So this is your standards now? I'm questioning whether I want to actually book other two. I've already booked two more tours with Fantasy RV. And this is it's a freaking dump. I am going to walk around the park to see how the other sites are, if it's just this one that they put me in. So, next site over, I don't see it being better either. It's got litter all over the place. <laughs> this is absolutely unacceptable. I mean, I'm almost half expecting, expecting to find a used condom wrapper or a used condom somewhere on this side. Very disappointing. Very disappointing. And it looks like their pool is open. They have restrooms over there. And supposedly they have laundry also. So over here, it's back in however you can drive right through if you want if they did it correctly so half of us could have just driven through and those that came later would have had to back up ah restrooms over there cool 
And I guess most of us is going to be over here. Now their site looks clean. Mr. Ed. Good to see you, my friend. Nice to see you too. How, how's your space? Okay. I have 50 amps. It's it's okay. There's lots of room. Mm -hmm. However, the the litter, the litter. There is so much litter around my site. It's it's candy wrappers. It, it's the whole park is the whole my whole site littered it's littered it looks like a dump <laughs> one more time they put me under the big trees where i can't use my satellite at all you should be over there then yeah <laughs> i'm gonna tell them just be i'm gonna be polite and just say, look do me a favor every day i'm under the trees and of course i can't pick up my internet but other than that, you're safe. Yes, I, I'm happy I have my 50 amp. I'm going to stay inside my RV and where it's nice, clean, and sanitary. But it's... Are you going over there for dinner this evening? Uh, I'm going to go where... Yes, I will do that for dinner. Where, where, yeah, more litter. I don't know who their groundskeeper is, but it's just astonishing. Al's Oasis, there's a restaurant over there. And apparently from what Ed said that there was a grocery store and some other stores. So we'll go check it out later tonight after I take my my nap. Why doesn't he just pull through? Pull through! The area was wonderful. <laughs> you avoided it all off, don't you? We do. We back into our storage area, and we don't usually have too much of a problem. I'll go stand over here to make sure no one else goes through. <laughs> This is our second one-nighters, so I can still overlook garbage that's around on the on this site. Still, it's unacceptable as far as I'm concerned. I ordered a... I can't remember what I ordered. T-bone steak. I ordered a T-bone steak. Comes with us with the salad bar. And I've ordered sweet tea for myself. We are at Farm Island Recreation Area in Prairie. Is it Prairie? It's like, okay, where's the city name? We are in Prairie. Prairie, South Dakota. <laughs> it's 50 amp only. No water going in or going out. So I am thankful it's 50 amp because right now it is 92 degrees out. 
but it's actually pleasant here in the shade. Uh, we are back in sight and it's wonderful. It, they give you a lot of room. So here's the RV site and it's lots of room. Oh, we unhitched even though we're only here for one night because we are drive yourself to dinner tonight. But we do have a bus tour in about 30 minutes. So the back end was really nice. It's <laughs> lots of room and I backed in to where these two trees are and then I backed in. And Ron and Loray over there, he helped me back in. Thank you, Ron. So again, it's uh, site 68. They're all back ends. And there's a lake over there. This is a really nice park. Birds tweeting. You can hear airplanes. Don't really see them. It's a really nice, it's a really nice park. Again, only 50 amps. So if you come here, make sure you fill up with water and make sure your gray tanks, gray and black tanks are empty. And I could actually stay here for two nights with the 50 amps. It's wonderful. And the site is clean. There's no litter. Well, there's a couple of broken like broken plastic but overall the site is clean there's no there's no trash debris anywhere like that last park we were in ridiculous now this is a state park I believe it is actually I don't know what this is Lake Reservoir Missouri River okay that's part of the Missouri River over there So I'm going to open up the windows and enjoy the view. This is really nice. So would we stay in this park even though it's only electric but it's 50 amps which is good because I need both air conditioners today. We're 92 degrees out here today. 50 amps, both air conditioners are going right now. Even though there's no water in, water out, just make sure you are prepared for that. It's a beautiful park, and I would stay here again one, two nights. They're doing it now. They're trying to propose a state tax. Ridiculous. And if they do, if they do that, I'm moving to Texas. Well, moving residency. <laughs> In the house or in the Senate, 
it is a voice vote or roll call vote. And in the house here, we have electronic voting. And that's what this big, There's a bench over there if you want to see. I think that's where they they hoarded them to the cliff. No, they they did that until they had horses and then they started oh. riding them outside. And they shoot them with their arrows and spears. It's quite a headdress over there, though. You'd like that. Actually, it's taller than me. They so would be dragging the ground. <laughs> your purse. Squeeze. And will it actually come out? Oh, I don't know. We don't, we don't know. We don't know. What did Mona say? She didn't. Okay, I guess I'm squeezing. I guess I'm getting it. Yeah. Oh, there. There's a picture. Oh, it's got to be a little faster. Okay. Like, is it getting anything? You don't feel anything. I think it just. Yeah. Yeah. That's nice. Oh. Don't pull, squeeze. Okay. Don't pull, you squeeze. Kind of, you don't. I've milked a cow before. You, you gotta kind of squeeze, yeah. but you also gotta pull down. You have to read the directions. Can you beat the milking machine? Squeeze the cow to start the program. Squeeze every few oh. seconds to keep the program running. Okay, I'm zero machine is this. What's up? Got nine ounces. Nine ounces? <laughs> Got nine ounces. Hey, that's pretty good. <laughs> no, you don't have room in your garage. Oh, come on. I watched it. Did you watch the shows on History Channel? The first cars? Yes, the Ford. I just Actually, it wasn't a Ford. It was something else. This is a dog. Ford did... The assembly line mass produced it, but he didn't come up with it. Was the first car. Yeah. No, it was. He he gave them up for a little bit of money, made a lot of them, and that's what people started. 